This is a boss watch, gold premium design which looks absolutely gorgeous. The interface is really smooth and responsive. It's like 60 hertz refresh rate. There you go, amazing. Hi there, here's the all new Firebolt Blizzard. Well, it's actually not completely new, just that Firebolt has relaunched this watch with some new amazing rose gold and black color variants, which I can tell you look absolutely stunning. Priced at just 3,799, anyone who sees this watch will think it's a lot more expensive and premium. Now, even though we've reviewed this earlier, a lot of people couldn't buy it because it sold off pretty soon and it wasn't in stock. But now, you can buy it, including this new color variant. I'll take you through an unboxing experience, a quick review, so you can decide if you should buy the all-new Blizzard or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the all-new Firebolt Blizzard. This is black and rose gold, while this is the all gold. Can't wait to check out these new colors. Some features mentioned here. Some features are mentioned behind with the QR code for the companion app. And below here is the MRP of 19,900. My God. But don't worry, you can get this for a lot lesser. Let's quickly open it up and we'll start with the black and rose gold. And there you go. Right on the top is the watch itself. Really, really eye catchy. And the usual paperwork, book my show, Ghana and the user manual. And a strap adjustment tool is provided in case you want to adjust the length of the strap. And finally, the POCO pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. The magnets are pretty strong, it won't snap off if you pull it. Let's check out the other one, though we know the contents are going to be exactly the same. And there is the gold watch. Wow, this is so gorgeous. The same paperwork with the user manual the strap adjustment tool, and finally the pogo pin charging cable. All right, let's have a closer look at the watch and we'll start with the gold. Wow, this looks so eye-catchy. Definitely doesn't look like a watch that's priced at $37.99. Looks far more premium and expensive. Very, very well built. The finishing, the quality, absolutely amazing. Now this is a gold color as you can see, glossy gold finish which will attract fingerprint and smudges. This is solid steel, metal body, couple of buttons on the side. The dial on the top, does it rotate? No, that's a solid dial. Really well built. The straps too are made of stainless steel and are a combination of glossy and matte. Very nice quality. If you move towards the back here on the loop, you can see this comes with the fireball branding. You press this to open up the straps or the buckle. Really nice. And if you look at the back here, you can spot the heart rate sensor, esper sensor, charging terminals up here. And you'll have to look very carefully. You'll spot the speaker at the bottom here, which is going to assist you for phone calls and voice assistant. Really, really good watch. Let's quickly check out the black one. Okay, first let's get rid of the screen protector. Wow. Wow, this looks so good. Buttons come with this plastic on the top, which don't let it get scratched. Hang on. Okay, yeah, there you go, it's clean. Wow. This also looks really nice. So fans of black and gold are really going to like it. Again, stainless steel body, solid metal, glossy finish here, gold glossy finish. Will attract some fingerprints here. Buttons on the side, tachometer on the top, stainless steel straps, black straps, glossy and matte finish. Fireball branding here as well. Open up the straps, heart rate sensor, espirit sensor, charging terminals and speaker at the bottom for phone calls. Really, really well-built watches, absolutely stunning colors, and I think this is why they had to relaunch it. This amazing combination truly stands out. So now if we have to wear this watch, we open up the buckle, and there you go. Now, I know there are a lot of people who really like to wear watches that are a little loose. This is a little too loose for me. So let's use the adjustment tool to remove some of these pieces so that it gives me a better fit. Now basically, you have to remove these pieces as per the size you need. Keep the watch inside here. Rotate this inside this dot area. So this piece can be removed. Let's remove it completely. Now this will take a couple of minutes and you're done. Let's wear it. Wow. Oh God, this is just perfect. The Blizzard comes in IP67 rating. So technically, it's dust and water resistant. Wear it in the rain, wear it for a workout. You don't have to worry at all. In fact, it even comes with water sports tracking. But I wouldn't recommend you wear it for those purposes because see, this is a premium smartwatch. Wear it for work, wear it for meetings, wear it for everyday use. It's that kind of smartwatch. All right, let's have a closer look at the display. Now, as you press this button on the top, the top one, the display will wake up. The lower button is also doing the same function, turn on and turn off. You can use either of these. 
Now this is a 1.28 inch LCD display with a resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. Now, even though this is not a very high resolution display, you can see that the text is really clear and the images are super super crisp. It's really really quite good. Also worth mentioning is the bezels. The bezels are really slim as you can see here and because of this round dial outside, it kind of blends in which is why the bezels become super slim. Now if you want to change watch faces to see more, you simply rotate this crown to change watch faces. There you go. This will give you a better look at the watch faces and the bezels. Now this is a white watch face. Here you can see the black bezels are very very minimalistic. There you go. Looks really really slim. Now of course it's also a really really smooth interface. If you swipe right you can access the AI, swipe further, phone calling. You have today's workouts, you have your heart rate, you have your weather, you have the camera shutter, you have the music player, you have the breathe app, you have the measure BP, SpO2, my god so much. Also worth seeing is the smooth interface, really really responsive. If you swipe from up you can access the quick toggles, your battery saving, your phone calling toggle on and off, then you have the torch, the display turns white, helpful when you're in the dark or at night. Then further, vibration alert, brightness, you can adjust the brightness cells from here. And let me tell you, it gets really bright enough, you can easily use this watch outdoors in the day. And finally, settings. In settings, you have games, you have Youngbird, you have 2048, you have these two games. They're very basic games you can play on the watch, but remember, playing games on the watch will drain the battery a lot faster. So think twice before playing. But yes, it's there for fun. Then you have stopwatch, you have alarms, if you go into alarms, you can't set the alarm time from here, you can only turn it on and off. If you want to set the time, you'll have to use the companion app. Further down is the timer, phone calling can be toggled on and off, call reset, menu view, you have the grid view and the list view. I'm coming to the list view, I personally prefer it. Then you have the brightness alert, vibration, theater mode, reset, power off and about. Now if you see here, how smooth the interface is, one touch and it slides. Then to access the menu, you swipe right, you have messages, step tracking, sleep tracking, training, heart rate, SpO2, blood pressure, weather, camera shutter, music player, breathe app, you have the game, flashlight and settings. Now the interface is fantastic, super fun and easy to use. Let's check out phone calling. So to make phone calls from your watch, swipe right on the menu, come to the phone calling, you'll see recent call, dial pad and contacts. Come to dial pad and we're just randomly dialing a number and clicking dial. Now the audio you're hearing is actually from the speaker on the watch. See how loud and clear it is. Of course you can talk directly using your smartwatch and end the call directly from here. Now similarly you can also receive incoming calls on your watch itself. Here you can see there's a ringtone, there's also a vibration alert, you can see the caller's name, you can reject the call or answer the call. Now as you answer the call, you can talk directly using your smartwatch, which is super convenient. You can also mute the microphone, you can also control the volume of the watch and of course you can end the call directly from here. Talking about the phone calling experience, well, the speaker gets really loud and clear. You can easily use it indoors as well as outdoors. Though sometimes outdoors you might have trouble hearing the other person. Also, it depends on the environment you're using it for phone calls. The mics did a really good job and the caller never complained of any echo or disturbance. It's pretty solid watch for phone calling. You can also receive app alerts and notifications. The text is quite clear and you can read the whole message by scrolling on the display. Quite convenient. Now, I want to specially take a moment and talk about the fit and comfort. It's a solid steel metal watch, so expect some heft to it. And that actually adds to the premium look. But let me tell you, it's not uncomfortably heavy at all. You can wear it all day at work, just like any regular steel watch. We briefly also tested the health monitoring features, starting with heart rate. Then we moved to blood pressure. And finally, even SpO2. We got the readings for all, but I say this every time. It's a smart watch. So use all these health parameter readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. Coming to workouts and sports modes, the Blizzard comes with 120 plus workout modes. To access it, swipe right, scroll down to training and click on open new workout. Here you'll find walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, swimming. There's also swim support, climbing, tennis, rugby, golf, yoga, fitness, baseball. My God, such a long list. And when you click the plus button, popular sports, water sports, there's so many water sports that are also supported, which is amazing. Then further, if you go down, there is training, there's dance workouts, there's so many belly dancing, Zumba, street dancing, combat, ball sports, 
other sports, recreational sports, other sports. Really, really long list of workout that you want. Everything that you want is here. The watch comes with 220 mAh battery that will last you about five to six days with typical use. But if you use phone calling, don't expect more than one to two days. Let's have a quick look at the Darfit Companion app. So right now on the homepage, you can see your health related and workout data, steps, sleep tracking, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen levels. If you come to the second option here, you can see the pre-installed watch faces here. Simply click on it and it will change instantly. There you go. If you come to the last option, it's face gallery. And here you'll find a huge collection of analog and digital watch faces that you can download. Some really colorful ones, some really simple ones, some more digital watch faces are available here. Let's download one, click on this, click download. And there you go, the new watch face is available to use. Super convenient. Then further down are notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Set alarm times, camera shutter, favorite contacts for easy access. In others, you have find device, time format, unit systems, continuous heart rate detection can be turned on or off, auto lock time can be set, quick view for messages, drink water reminder, heart rate warning, weather, psychological cycle reminder which is menstrual cycle tracking for women and finally if you come to the last option you can also share your data with google fit which comes very handy in case you replace the watch or change your watch you have all your data intact which is really really good so overall a really simple and easy to use app all right so if i had to nitpick i miss the amulet display and along with that the always on mode imagine that feature on a watch like this hopefully we might see that in the next blizzard but remember that will be pricey for 3,799, this looks like a million bucks. Truly a luxury smartwatch for under 4,000. The new colors are already on sale. I'll share the links for all in the description. You should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.